Hi everyone, Electro here. What you're looking at are 10,000 slots cut into a piece of metal. Um, I found a way of doing it cheaply and easily at home with a minimum of tools, just my style, and um, it seems to work quite well. How I've done it is by using uh, these cutting discs. These are new on the market and as you can see they're, they're quite thin. It just so happens that Here's the brochure for it. As you can see, the diameter, oops, there you go. The diameter is 0.25 millimeters, which is 10 thou exactly. Now, that's the discs there. That's what they're used for. But um, that's where I thought I could use that to. to cut those and it seems to have worked quite well. Uh, in, these are just cut by hand, freehand. In the future I, I plan on using my milling machine with a jig to make the cut a lot more accurate on the actual water spark plug piece itself. But for the time being, just as an exploratory cut, it was... Um, I was quite surprised with the results. I think they came out really well and this is what I'm going to use now. For those of you who are unfamiliar with the process, uh, I've got a drawing here of what I intend to make. That's the spark plug here. Oh, by the way, I've got to show you this. I've, um, I suppose you could say this is like pimp my spark plug. I've done my electrode. I've enameled that on with um, coloured glass. Uh, polished the, the top on it. Uh, the electrode ready, is ready to go. I've made two of these. The other one's at the shop getting the piece that we're talking about machined, which is going to be a cap that screws on there, and then the rest, of the lower part of the spark plug, which hugs the electrode, is going to screw on top of that, and that's what's going to have the, the channel for the water going into it, etc. So, anyway, when it, when it gets made, I'll show you guys that for the time being. Uh, that's the spark plug from the side view, that's the top view and what I intend to cut are th those slots there and the electrode pokes through that hole and that's where the water comes through there's a recessed area there for the water to flow around and that's where it gets pushed onto the electrode down the electrode and into the combustion chamber of the engine so so far so good. Now with this one I've had a bit of an accident and I've broken the the disc off the mandrel but that's okay it was a sample one anyway as you can see they're, they're quite flexible so it's not as if they're going to break and fly apart or anything like that and they will cut through just about anything. Another little surprise was because these are free samples I got in the mail there's the Dynex Brilliant range which is made for Zirconia. Now I was thinking about making that cap bit in that recessed area there. See, I can make that out of zirconia and cut the quenching fin slots, so to speak, in the top and have like a zirconia half of the quenching space in there. But again, I'll see if the guy can make a metal one if it's easier. If it's not, I can make my own if I have to. So, anyway. So far, so good. I'll keep you guys posted with the build. Bye.